This video of Surrey Cruz introducing Taylor Swift is the most randomly cute thing you'll see all day. Get ready for a dose of unfiltered cuteness, because for some reason Surrey Cruz introduced Taylor Swift at Z100 New York's iHeartRadio Jingle Ball, and it's undoubtedly going to be one of the cutest things you see all day. The 11-year-old appeared on stage alongside her mother. Katie Holmes, and Z100 host Elvis Duran at the holiday concert on Friday, December. 8 at Madison Square Garden in New York City just before the Look What You Made Me Do singer took stage as the final act of the night. Swift performed a number of songs from her newest album, Reputation, as well as classic hits like Shake It Off and I Don't Wanna Live Forever. She was also joined by Ed Sheeran for their collaboration, End Game. However, although Swift undoubtedly gave performed a great set, it was definitely Little Surrey who stole the show with her simple, but adorable introduction of the singer. Holmes and Surrey, whose father is Tom Cruise, don't tend to make a lot of public appearances. So it was certainly a surprise when the two of them showed up on stage at the garden. She's one of our favorite performers, Holmes said to Surrey, and who is it tonight? Then, without missing a beat, Surrey adorably announced that it was, Taylor Swift. Between the enthusiasm in her voice, and the huge smile on her face, it's clear that Surrey was excited to introducing the pop singer. Thankfully, the intro was caught on camera and shared to social media, much to the delight of pretty much everyone on the internet. According to People, sources claim that Surrey was also visibly excited backstage, and like, wouldn't you be? What a treat to any fan to be able to introduce one of your favorite musicians, especially to a younger fan like Surrey. As the publication noted, Swift and Holmes actually worked together on the 2014 film The Giver. Don't remember Swift's appearance in that movie? It's an understandable mistake, like this Billboard magazine post explains, although Swift was featured heavily in promotional materials for The Giver, she was basically only in one scene. So it was a totally blink and you miss it scenario. Also, according to Variety, Swift wore a brown wig, so that she'd be unrecognizable. Perhaps a little too unrecognizable though, since her appearance in the film seems hard to remember. But anyway, back to Jingle Ball, Us Weekly reported that Swift's rumored new boyfriend Joe Alwyn was backstage to support her. Although the couple didn't walk the red carpet for the event, sources spotted Swift and Alwyn having their own private backstage party before the gorgeous singer took the stage. Swift and Alwyn's relationship first made headlines in May, but the couple has remained relatively under the radar. They don't attend events together, and despite dozens of apparent references to Alwyn on numerous tracks on reputation, Swift hasn't officially confirmed that she and Alwyn are an item. However, it seems like keeping their relationship private has worked well for the couple so far. Everyone was having a great time and Taylor was beaming, a source claimed to Us Weekly. But it was completely cornered off. No one saw. They cleared every hallway for her to enter and leave. Talk about legit security. 
No word on whether or not Surrey and Holmes were invited to Swift's private party or not, but judging from how excited Surrey seemed as she yelled out a pop star's name, it seems like she was clearly enjoying herself at the concert.